Now at 10, a place of worship vandalized, doors smashed and stained glass windows shattered. The crime is surprising, but the response from the faithful at the chapel is fully extraordinary. Kareen Zell joins us from the House of Prayer Lutheran Church in Franklin with the latest, Kareen. George and Carol, police believe the vandals might have used a sledgehammer to damage the mailbox and break the glass along the front side of the building. Smashed windows and doors, glass everywhere, at a place most consider to be reverent. Why do you think someone would do something like this? Oh, that's always the hard question. We don't know. Obviously, you think it's for excitement. They didn't take anything, so they didn't steal anything. Thankful the vandals didn't walk inside, leaders at House of Prayer Lutheran Church secured the building after discovering the mess Tuesday morning. There was glass, little bits of glass all the way to the back. We had to vacuum up as much as three times to get all the glass up. They found two broken doors. So there's two panes. They broke the outer pane, didn't break the inner one. Two damaged windows, one stained glass from the church's beginning in 1972. It's not the end of the world. We hope that something positive comes out of this rather than something negative. This teacher who works at the school attached to the church has the same idea. We like to turn things that are negative and turn them into positive. Even though vandals smashed the school door. What we decided to do is put some decorations on the door to put a smile on faces, even though we're feeling sad on the inside. The school hopes the balloons make a difference. The church has a message of its own. Anybody who uh, has done this, the people or person who has done this, we invite them to our church. The vandals were here sometime between 8.30 last night and 6 this morning. If you saw anything suspicious, you're asked to call police. Now, as for church leaders, they say prayers are welcome. Reporting live in Franklin, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4. Well told. Thank you, Corrine.